Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers. Let and us sisters. now pray the Oratio Imperata for. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration in our devotion to Our Lady, our model of discipleship. May our Mother teach us to always remain in the love of Jesus. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, 
you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through Phrygian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mycenae, they tried to go on to Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mycenae and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words. Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth Cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please all stand.
If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you, no slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been listening to beautiful gospel passages these past days beautiful messages of Jesus regarding discipleship. In the past days, we have heard of Jesus telling us to remain in his love because we are the branches and he is the vine and how these disciples are called his friends and how these friends ought to love one another as our Lord Jesus has loved us. Beautiful gospel readings, beautiful messages on how we ought to become disciples. But surprisingly, the week ends with Jesus telling us now the cost of discipleship. And that is that the world will hate you. Sabi ko sana, Panginoon, ang ganda na ng mga message mo nitong mga nakaraang araw. No? Magtatapos ka ngayong Sabado, sasabihin mo sa amin na magagalit ang mundo sa amin kapag sumunod kami sa iyo. But my dear brothers and sisters, it is at this time, at this particular time, when the world hates you because you are a disciple, that you are closest to Jesus. Sinasabi ni Jesus, kapag nagagalit na ang mundo sa iyo, yan ang panahon na pinakamalapit ang alagad sa kanyang guro. It, it is at this time when the world hates the disciple that the disciple is closest to the master. That is why in our gospel reading, 
Jesus reminds his disciples, if the world hates you, remember that the world hated me first. And it is at this time he said that I have chosen you out of the world. When the world hates you, it is at that time that I choose you to be closest to me, the disciple to the master. It is, my dear brothers and sisters, an assurance for all of us that when the world hates you, it is at that time that Jesus loves you the most. When the world closes its doors to you, it is at that time that Jesus opens his heart for you. Mga minamahal na kapatid, kapag tayo po ay alagad ni Jesus at sinisikap nating sumunod sa Kanya, may mga taong magagalit sa atin. Magagalit ang mundo sa atin kapag sumunod tayo kay Jesus. Pero kapag nandoon ka na sa punto na ang mundo ay nagagalit na sa'yo dahil sumusunod ka kay Jesus, yan ang panahon na mas lalong binubuksan ni Jesus ang kanyang puso sa iyo. Magalit man ang mundo sa iyo, isaraman nila ang pinto nila sa iyo, yan ang panahon na lalong binubuksan ni Jesus ang kanyang puso para sa kanyang mga alagad. In our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see the work of the disciples in opening the doors of faith to the Gentiles. Remember that in the Acts of the Apostles, at the beginning of the story of the church, many of the Jewish disciples of Jesus do not want to accept the Gentiles in their community because they come from a different background. They want to close the door of faith to them. But Jesus, through his apostles, went around the different cities so that they could preach that Jesus wanted not to close the door because of hate, but to open the door of faith because of his great love even for the Gentiles. That is the work of the apostles. That is the work of a disciple. If the world hates you, it is at that time that Jesus loves you the most. If the world closes its doors for you, Jesus opens the door of faith. Jesus opens his heart for you. My dear brothers and sisters, if you are at this time, you feel that you are this disciple that Jesus is talking about, that the world hates you, that you feel that even your friends hate you, even your family hates you. Many of the people around you are different, have a different view from you, and they want to close their doors for you. Remember that at this particular time, it is when Jesus opens wide the doors of his heart for you because you are now close to the master as his disciple amen please stand my dear brothers and sisters we joyously praise the lord who raised his son from death and so assured us of eternal life. Let us ask the Lord's help 
in times of trial. For every petition, let us say, Father, preserve us in your love. Father, preserve us in your love. That our pastors, especially the Pope and our bishops, may continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father preserve, preserve us in your, your love. love. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may feel His sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father preserve, preserve us in your, your love. love. That we may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father preserve us in your love. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may be comforted by contemplating on the eternal life that Jesus offers, let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. God, our Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom forever. Grant us strength to bear our sufferings and hardships in the knowledge that we will be raised through Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility which we bring with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. 
by the oblation of His body, He brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending Himself to you for our salvation, showed Himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for you, by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheney, Alleluia.